Hello, welcome to Comedy Up Late. Are you well? Yeah. Oh, good, good, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful crowd, beautiful crowd. So happy to be here. <laughs> I just made that up, that introduction, just made it up off the top of my head. I'm an improviser. Uh, <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Actually, um, I'm not just a comedian and improviser, I'm an actor also. Triple threat <laughs> to a stable financial situation. <laughs> uh, but I was always inspired. I knew I wanted to be an actor the first time I ever saw All Saints. I just knew it. I was like, I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I know I can. I know I can. Thank you, Georgie. I know I can do it. So excited about it. And I've been so lucky, so lucky. Like, I can't even tell you how lucky I've been. I, I got to perform in an award-winning play called The Boat People, and I was Sarah the Iraqi refugee. Like, so lucky. Why me? <laughs> why me? I just don't know why. So crazy. Not just, not just on stage, on television as well. I mean, I've played um, Marie, Muslim friend of the family. <laughs> so lucky. Like, I just... Why me? <laughs> And then I also played a Nusha, Muslim police officer, so... <laughs> just so, can't even believe it. I mean, I, I, I'm not Iraqi or Muslim, but we're all just acting, aren't we? Like Georgie Parker. <laughs> She's not a nursing unit manager, we're just all acting. Just all acting. So lucky, so lucky. It's great. I love strong women, I love strong female characters, because the, the matriarch of my family is a 92-year-old Lebanese woman. Like, my grandmother, not just a random 92-year-old. <laughs> Lebanese woman, she's woke up one day and was like, I feel like I can lead, follow me. It wasn't like that. She's my actual grandmother. Uh, she moved from Lebanon to Sydney in the mid 50s. Um, she hasn't like mastered the language yet, but you know when New Year's comes around and you're like, oh, resolution this year, I'm gonna learn a language. And then February comes and you haven't. And then 60 years passes. It's kind of like that, kind of like that. She does have a catchphrase though. She has an English catchphrase, which she uses all the time, regardless of context. And her catchphrase is, I hope you win. <laughs> it's so sweet, it is so sweet. She uses it all the time, always has. Doesn't care about context, she's just a rebel. So I'll say to her, like I, growing up, I'd say to her, oh granny, I've got a driving test this week. I hope you win. <laughs> like it's a pass fail thing, but thank you. And I was like, oh, Granny, I've got a show on Saturday night. I hope you'll win. <laughs> it's not a competition. I know where your heart is. <laughs> oh, Granny, this year I'm going to run the half marathon. You'll never make it. <laughs> yeah. No, it's getting better. It's getting, her, it, actually, her English is, it's hurtful, it's so good. <laughs> it's hurtful, it's so good. Hey, but I reckon we should kick this night off. Are you ready? 